Hi guys, it's Azim again from netisco.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to install IntelliJ on our Windows operating system. And if you guys have already installed this IDE, then you guys can skip this video entirely. So let's get start. So to download IntelliJ, you need to type IntelliJ IntelliJ IDEA. So here we have two options to download uh, IntelliJ for us. First one is the ultimate version and second one is the community version. Community version is free and open source. Uh, you don't have to pay for it but for uh, you know ultimate version you have to pay for it because it's not uh, free or you guys can go to something called student program from IntelliJ so let's type in JetBrains JetBrains student and you will get this link here all you have to do is you have to apply for student account so you can use your university email your student card and uh, your membership for apply for JetBrains uh, student account and you will get a free license key for ultimate version of uh, IntelliJ. So let me show you how it will looks like when you apply and get approved. Once your account will approved by JetBrain, then you will be able to log into your account and uh, you will be able to use any product of JetBrain. If for some reason you can't get a student account, then there is third option that you can use is uh, IntelliJ. IntelliJ EAP and uh, just go to this this link right there go to this so eap stands for early access program and uh, in early access program you you guys are going to download this uh, intellij ultimate version for free and uh, in return uh, jetbrain will get some data from your development so i'm going to install intellij ultimate version Select this uh, 64 bit launcher. Install. IntelliJ is installed. Now we can run it. Do not import setting and click on OK. Accept this agreement. And now you need to either paste the activation code that you get from JetBrains or you guys can directly log into your JetBrain account. I'm going to log into my JetBrain account. And click on activate. Select your preferred theme and then click on next. Now click on next and click on start using IntelliJ. Let's go ahead and create a Kotlin project. Click on create new project. And from here, select Kotlin. And then select Kotlin JVM. Then click on next. After this, type your Kotlin project name. My first Kotlin project. and then click on this new button and go to the location of your JDK which is in program file Java and JDK then click on OK and then click on finish So here is your first Kotlin project in IntelliJ IDE. To create your Kotlin file, 
right click on the source folder click on new then click on kotlin file or class now type the file name that you want to create let's create main let's write our first kotlin program in intellij There are two ways to run this Kotlin program. Either you guys can click on this Kotlin icon, then click on run main KT file, or you guys can go ahead and click on this run button and then click it from here. Let's run it from here. Right now it's building our project. And here is our output from our program so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching